With the Zarush and Kestian systems secure, we must now begin operations to drive back the Cardassians. Our new target is the Afate system, at the leading edge of the Cardassian front. There are several uninhabited worlds in this system that are rich in mineral wealth. We must colonize these worlds so they can provide us the industrial capacity to support our operations against the Cardassian Union. Be aware that scouts have spotted Cardassian activity at the edge of the system. Expect heavy fortifications if they've taken any of the planets. Your orders are to take and defend all the planets in the system including any that the Cardassians hold. Your defenses must be strong, and your assault overwhelming. This system must not fall. Here, the Cardassians will taste defeat. Welcome back to Star Trek Armada 2, guys. And the Klingons obviously thought that impersonating the Kara from Star Control 2 was such fun in the last level, we're just gonna do it again yes. uh, except this time we're gonna do it with bigger ships because that's a lot more fun so this level is going to mainly be about building up our infrastructure I'm just sending our bird of praise off in cloaked because the Cardassians are clever enough not to actually build any cloaking detection wait a minute clever wasn't the right word I wanted to use there was it yeah never mind the Cardassians really aren't that heavily entrenched in this system. The Klingons pretty much have one half of the map completely open to them. Um, the Cardassians have got a smattering of sensor turrets, etc. available, but there's really nothing, uh, nothing disastrous for us to have to deal with. So, first things first, dilithium and metal. Don't really need to build a star base immediately, I suppose, just because of the uh, fact that we already have a dilithium freighter with us. So therefore, there's not really a huge amount of need to get the star base down to get the other dilithium freighters out rapidly. But it's just a nice defensive structure for us to have, and it'll just make things that little bit easier for us. And I suppose, as far as a timing thing goes, it probably takes about the same amount of time to build both a dilithium refinery and a metal refinery is it just to build a star base so just using standard project management you can see that it's probably worth uh, doing it in this order dilithium refinery just taking a little bit of time to get going but this mission's really an introduction i would say to the upper tier of klingon ships it's the first uh, mission where you can build an advanced shipyard what? which means we can build Kral class ships, um, the type that you saw in the previous mission, and uh, I think that's about it that we can build as far as advanced Klingon ships go. But with a mission where you have to colonize a hell of a lot of planets, then it's really not a, a good idea to just give us two or three ships because it could take forever, especially if the Cardassians decide to shield them. Station construction has begun. Okay, that's the metal facility going down. And it looks like the Cardassians are just hovering around near our base. Yeah, that's going to last a long period of time. What is it now? Oh, that on the other hand could be a bit of a pain. I think that's a Kulinor class ship. Yeah, but it's dead either way, so no skin off our nose. And we now have a starbase available to us. Ready to build. Our next task is to build a shipyard. That's not going to take too long at all. And then I'm going to move into detection facilities for the most part. Because uh, the Cardassians are going to use cloaking. And therefore I don't want to uh, be caught with my pants down by their cloaking devices. That would probably be bad for all people concerned. A new battle uh, right, so we've got the metal facility up and running. Let's get the uh, research facility built and get it built quickly. We do have some latinum that's been given to us at the start of the mission, so that's always a bit of a bonus. Uh, 
And now we can build some ships of our own. Right away. But since we're not under a lot of pressure, I've decided to wait until the research facility is built before we stop start cranking out ships. Um, not really sure that dumping out half a dozen Station birds of prey here is going to do me any sort of uh, any sort of good in the long run. Uh, they're just unlike the Federation Defiant, they don't really have the firepower to be able to back themselves up. We have a new ship for the fleet. And I just decide to the leave it alone at that point as far as they go. The Starbase could handle anything that comes its way. We have a new ship for the fleet. Our base is under Yes, it is cool in our class, but fortunately it doesn't have the uh, it doesn't have the Kulinor class's special weapon yet. You'll will uh, you will see that next time, and it's not something that uh, I'm happy that they have. I'm thinking about where to expand at this point in time, and I'm going to go for this bottom left area. Seems fairly isolated, bit off the beaten path, and once we've got this area sorted I will move towards the Latinum Nebulas at the top of the screen. Okay we've got the uh, research facility down so let's put down an advanced shipyard. Get some... Uh, well I'm gonna colonize this L-class planet first and uh, once that's done... oh we've got a bit of a rumble going on down the bottom of the map yeah, this is the slight problem with the uh, spawn mechanic rather than uh, the ships coming from a base. If they spawn in at the bottom of the screen, you get into all sorts of trouble. Fortunately, uh, the Klingon non combat ships are actually combatant. There are no Klingon non combatant ships. They all have. Uh, they all have weaponry on them, so. Klingons obviously don't believe in sort of civilian ships. Anyway, these ships are taking a bit of a clobbering at the moment, so I want to get a starbase up as quick as possible to stop this sort of thing from happening. The Cardassians do have a number of ships with double double attacks, like their artillery ship has two tricol boat torpedoes or whatever you want to call it, and one of these ships here has double phases and oh my god. Do not Trouble just happened. Get us moving. I'm going to break off to divert their attention just so that I can come back and get first strike capability, but this is going to cost me a lot of my fleet, I believe. <laughs> come on. See, this is what happens when you don't concentrate. I'm building Sukjar class ships. I'm not too sure that that's a. Uh, a fantastic idea. I think that they're uh, they're probably not as strong as Vulture class ships. What they're very good at is um, taking over enemy ships. You'll notice they've got a lot of crew on them, 350, which is a huge amount of crew for a medium class ship. And uh, the reason they've got that many is that they're specifically designed to take over enemy ships with their special weapons. We have a new ship for the they're pretty much a torpedo ship though, they only have very close range phases and mainly rely on torpedoes to get their damage in. But it looks like we've got away with that, the construction ship is still alive if only just. And we've now got the dilithium to go ahead and do it so we can get a star base down here pronto. And hopefully that will be the end of any stupidity on uh, this side of the map. Assuming that the construction ship survives. Its life support's uh, failing at the moment, but it looks like it's just about managed to survive. Let's get some more defences down there. And, uh, oh yeah, that, uh, that detection grid. I'm going to need that, aren't I? build faster. I wonder what we'll see when this detection grid goes up. Up here. Has begun. 
then it's online, so apparently nothing. Oh, on the other... We've got a ship just planting itself in the middle of our base. Well, that's nice, but uh, I don't really see what it hopes to do at that point. I think it's what... Yeah, I think it's a Cardassian construction ship, that. I think it was uh, hoping to colonise this area. No such luck. I don't play as the Cardassians much, and... Uh, so I don't really... Uh, I'm not familiar with 100% of what their ships look like. But you can see some of them are coming in under cloak. And uh, it's bad enough facing a star base when you have shields. When you don't have shields, it's pretty much suicide. Bring out a couple of k Ral class ships. And I'm beginning to feel more secure by the minute. This ship is absolutely battered. If it gets the starbase down, what I'm also going to do is build another Imperial shipyard. And then it'll just be a case of uh, cranking out ships as much as I possibly can. Me and my economy building here. Time for a trade station or two. Station construction has begun. Being very slow with ship construction here, and that's something I'm going to have to improve as I go through the game. I'm not going to research gravity mines, it's not a mission requirement, and I just work. don't think they're that good. Immediately. Get a sensor tower up because we've already seen that the Cardassians have been uh, hiding ships down here, so let's see if there's anything around this area. And I'm going to recrew this star base. We have two star bases and a planet's worth of crew coming in now, so even recruiting star bases, I'm doing a, uh, I'm going up in crew. Ready to build. So, is there anything by this space? Yep, door number two has been opened, and we have a couple of Cardassians hiding in the base. Not anymore. So, well done on that one. And let's put another Imperial shipyard down here. I think I've got the infrastructure to build out of two at the same time and that'll just uh, improve both our defensive capabilities and our ability to just crank ships out at a vastly accelerated rate. We've revealed an awful lot of the map at this point in time and as you can see there's almost no Cardassian presence whatsoever so this shouldn't really be a difficult challenge in trying to take them down. The idea at this point is for us to expand to that Latinum Nebula and just to pump out k for pretty much the rest of the mission and once we've got a couple of groups of them uh, just go and stomp all over the Cardassian defences. First things first, I'm putting a sensor turret here because I want to see what's happening before I build anything. I don't really want to get my construction ship started on building a star base and have three or four Cardassian ships just waiting for it to appear and end up uh, making a complete mess out of it. Still, the Cardassians are waltzed in here and yeah, not much has happened. I think that ship was still cloaked there, and oh, they're coming in force again, but again, a lot of the ships are cloaked, so I'm just getting freebies. And because I've kept the crew of the starbase low, it also means that it's currently in berserker mode, so it's firing a lot. Fa it's firing quickly. I think that's a colony ship, not a construction ship. So uh, my apologies for getting that wrong. And we find there's nothing up here, so we're going to plant yet another starbase and take advantage of the dilithium and sorry latinum and also give us yet more crew coming in a new battle station is complete. so there we go that's complete and we can just build a couple of dilithium to freighters build. to mine the latinum and a trading station for us to get some even more warriors. latinum income I've got to wait for the crew to uh, increase enough for me to be able to build the trading station, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. We just wait a little bit. We have a new ship for the fleet. Never forget the 34th rule of acquisition. Peace is good for business. Frangie robbing my ships as usual. Ready to build. 
But it's alright, we'll just continue slapping Cardassians, they can pay for it instead of the Ferengi. Can only deal with one dishonourable race at a time. Or something like that. That's my excuse anyway. And there we go, trading station down up here, so we'll be able to get the old uh, cargo ships moving backward and forward between the bases. And once we get our crew levels high enough, we will be able to double pump out K Rals. And yay, I finally get to repair my construction ship, which has just taken the beating of all beatings this mission. Holding it together with spit and wire, pretty much at this point, but there we go, recrew it and get everything working again. Good as new. Don't know why I'm bothering, I don't even think I need to build anything down there, but it's the principle of the thing. The day will be ours. Okay, currently I have 10 KRL class ships. Which is also known as a good start. And our goal is just to build up at this point. I think that's pretty much it for as far as the Cardassians throwing ships at us in this mission. But one thing I am going to do is build some birds of prey and send them off scouting. The Cardassians, as I mentioned before, aren't exactly. Uh, au fait with the advantages of having sensor turrets for tachyon detection grids, so I'm going to make them pay for that. I think this is a waste of latinum, I'm never going to use those gravitic mines, so I don't really see what the point is. But the goal for these birds of prey is to find the Cardassian base. And off they go. And while they're doing that, I can clean up the Cardassian turrets which have been sitting around annoying me. And we can get the second wave of K-Rals on the way. And I'm going to produce them from both stations. The day will be ours. The day will be ours. I'm just moving from point to point. It'll make the job of my birds of prey that much easier as well. Um, for some reason they still tend to try and avoid turrets even when they can't see them. But uh, no matter what, the uh, Cardassians are going to be in all sorts of trouble now. I'm just going to take them out bit by bit. Just in case they have researched the uh, tachyon detection grid, I'm going to take out their turrets. Yeah. At this point I'm in, if it moves, kill it mode. I mean, hopefully it'll be Cardassian. We do not have enough warriors. The day will be ours. Beginning construction. We have a new ship for the fleet. You See, everything that's Cardassian space. kind of offends me at this point, so... Uh, no just taking out their ability to, def to uh, see our birds of prey is a big advantage. Beginning construction. It just means our birds of prey we can penetrate a, a bit further into their territory. I don't think there's anything the Cardassians can build which can stand up to this sort of assault. Beginning construction. We have a new ship for the fleet. A battle has begun. We do well, there's nothing wrong with going a bit over the top about it. I do not understand. will be paid with their And here is the first planet. Oh, the Cardassians appear to be mining metal from it. We'll have to. Uh, Relieve them of that. We do not have enough resources. 
Uh, I could have beamed down, but it's more fun to burn the life off the planet, I think, that most people will agree with me. We shall wait no longer. For the Empire, we do not have enough resources. And the Cardassians are trying to uh, stop me from colonizing it, or at least get some measure of revenge. Oh, that's going to work, having your colony ship do that. I suppose if I were feeling particularly vindictive, I could let them colonize it again, and then just simply eradicate everyone again. Well, there goes that Legate class ship, and that's one of the planets back under my control. I want to get some metal My from that planet as well. Another planet is ours. Seems to make sense. We have a new ship for the fleet. We do not anyway, we will resources. very shortly begin Operation Death March in order to uh, keep up with our core our appearance. And we've got this planet now firmly under our control, and we've managed to reveal where the Cardassian base is. But there's a couple of outlying turrets at the beginning, so we're going to take those on. Just to make sure that the Cardassians can't see us coming when we finally do come for them. And, uh... See, just... We have a new ship for the Honor's a fine thing, but occasionally you've just got to sneak past their defences. Even though honour and stupidity often go hand in hand when it comes to the Klingons. Oh, well, one of my ships has been disabled. The Ferengi will probably carry that off at some point, but... We're penetrating quite deep here, just with one group of K-Rals, and it doesn't look like the Cardassians have too much in the way to stop us here. And here come the Ferengi to claim their K-Ral. couple of construction ships being left idle, we'll have them. Oh, get that Keldon before it fully decloaks. I don't know whether that Ferengi's going to be Grand Nagus at any point, but he's sure as heck annoying enough. The day will be ours. Anyway, to avoid any problems, I'm just going to uh, replace that ship. And I believe we almost have two groups now, so it's close to being time to go for it. Well, that's a bit of an unfair fight. Let's see if we can even the odds a bit. In other words, make it unfair in our favour. Let us get to work. Glorious victory. Anyway, we're going to uh, get met a metal facility around this planet, and while I'm doing that, I'm just going to keep uh, picking away at the outer defences. Got a trading station here, I think we can take that out fairly easily. Along with a plasma turret and a sensor turret, so. So again, they're stopping me from scouting here pretty efficiently with that sort of configuration, so I want to scout in here, so we're going to deal with that quite quickly. A Galore class ship's about equivalent to a K-Ral. It might be slightly stronger, but it's certainly not a match for as many as I've got here. will be paved with their ashes. In fact, this little group of ships might be able to penetrate all the way into the base if they keep up this uh, performance. With pretty much everything evaporating in their presence. And here's a star base, so this could be a bit of a problem. The day will be ours! Let loose the dogs of war. A battle has begun. Our colony was lost. The day will be ours. 
Whoops, I appear to have lost my colony while I was doing that. Uh, that's a bit embarrassing, but never mind, we'll soon sort that out with a generous portion of uh, phasers and torpedoes. This KRAL class ship's pretty much battered, so I'm going to replace that. The day will be ours. Reason for it being I can't build repair ships at the moment, so any ship that's that badly disabled is just pretty much out of the fight. And losing the colony there is a bit annoying, but I wasn't going to turn back my attack on the starbase to go and prevent it. I can always get it back later. If the Cardassians want to spend resources there, um, instead of protecting their base, that's completely up to them. I'm just going to keep moving ahead. Whoa! Must be a shipyard round here if they're coming in from there. Okay, take out this turret. Raythor will be paved with their ashes. We will drive them before us. Drones research center. That must be a Cardassian special weapon. I hope they're not researching the Borg. That'd be uh, unfortunate. And oh my god, more star bases. We have a new ship for the fleet. No one lives forever. A battle has begun. Well, that was a bit calamitous, but fortunately we have reinforcements. And the ability to build more. But yeah, that was a rather unfortunate surprise. I wasn't 100% uh, expecting. I was hoping that there would maybe like one more star base, but two next to each other is a bit harsh. But... 16 k rounds were enough to handle it, so uh, go then. Obviously, if that had sprung up on a task group or two of vultures, they would have been absolutely sliced to pieces. Another planet here for us to bomb from orbit. And I'm making a bit of a meal of because I want to take out the turrets. We have a new ship for the fleet. The day will be ours. I seem to constantly be reinforcing Group 1 here, whereas it would probably be better for me to um, just build up two groups and send it in that way. A bit more expedient, I'd imagine. Cardassian sending in a construction ship there. That's not really going to do them any good. And I'm just going to keep building k rails out of both Imperial shipyards, because why not? And here's the advanced shipyard that builds the uh, the annoying Cardassian vessels. So taking that out is going to mean that they can only produce the really wussy ones that can't stand in my way. And goodbye to another Cardassian planet and the metal that was being mined from it. Efficient. See, this is what happens when you have one group of ships and they end up warping through Cardassian space. They get caught the like that. The day will be ours. So, uh, highly embarrassing, but... I'm going to have them meet outside of Cardassian territory and with two groups I'm then going to go in and finish off what's left of the Cardassian defences. A battle has begun. Oh yes, I'm uh, just going to take out the Cardassians on this planet again. Can you imagine what the thoughts were in the Cardassian uh, colonizers when they were doing that? They're like, I'm not going to that planet. No, they just bombed it two weeks ago. It's fine, it's fine, don't worry about it. Oh look, death from above. We're shocked by this development. Beginning construction. We said that, though, uh, in Ka on Cardassia, disobeying the military usually doesn't get you very far in terms of living. 
so take your chances. And here's that big fleet, but now I've got 32 k rals attacking it, so uh, I believe I win that particular fight. And this is going to be pretty much the last fight of the level, so I'll let you guys enjoy it. A battle has begun. The day will be ours. We have a new ship for the fleet. I thirst for battle. Give the Patah his due. We will drive them before us. The day will be ours. Beginning construction. I thirst for battle. Our destiny awaits. A battle has begun. We have a new ship for the fleet. We shall wait no longer. We claim this world. Let loose the dogs of war. The day will be ours. We have a new ship for the fleet. And that is pretty much that. We only really have to mop up the stragglers now. Um, there's a little base down to the south, but I am just going to build a couple of colony ships. And my main death fleet is going to head down here. It does look like they're swimming through space. It's quite funny. But... Uh, Oh, we have a small shipyard down here. Well, that's not going to last very long. Take mental note that there's stuff around there, but I want the shipyard destroying before anything... Oh, and especially these construction ships before anything happens. And with that out of the way, the only thing that's left is to colonise the remaining planets. And then to... Uh, destroy what's left of the Cardassian fleet. So... Colonization... Another planet is ours. There we go, that's all of them. And now all we've got to do is go back to where we know there are Cardassians. I'm just going to build some scout ships to use their uh, Tachyon Detection Grid, because we might need that if the Cardassians still have some cloaked ships in the areas. But, there are some ships around here, and hopefully they're going to be the last ones. So, I'll leave you to watch that, guys. Thanks very much for watching, and I will see you next time. A battle has begun. We have a new ship for the fleet. Greythor will be paved with their ashes. We have a new ship for the fleet. I thirst for battle.